Hello, today we're going to talk about parameters in Power BI Desktop. Let's say you have a data set here and it contains rows for many different countries. If you wanted to set up a parameter so that you could filter the data that you imported into Power BI Desktop, you can do that easily. Click Edit Queries. The Edit Queries tab comes up when we click Manage Parameters. And then we're going to create a new parameter. Let's call this one country, country param. Under the type, you're going to pick text, and then we're going to pick under the suggested values, a list of values. And this is where you go ahead and type the values for the different countries. Let's say you've got Japan, Germany, and USA. And then down here, let me explain these two uh, options here. Default value is going to be the value in in the list that it's going to default to when you run the query um, so let's say japan and then the current value that's the way the data uh, will be filtered right now in power bi desktop so let's just leave that as japan and click ok so that is finished but now we need to go into our data set and add a filter so under the sales table for the column country, we're going to click this and click text filters equals. Now, when this dialog box pops up, uh, you're going to pick the parameter setting from here. And here's the parameter that we just set up. So this is a, a, a simple row filter where it equals whatever is in this parameter. We'll click OK and then close and apply. So now, you're going to see that Power BI Desktop is applying those changes and filtering uh, this import to just uh, Japan. So that's great. We can uh, create a reports based on this. But if you want to change that, click Edit Queries, and then Edit Parameters. Now you're prompted with a dialog box to change that parameter. So if we click the drop down list box, picked USA, clicked OK, and then apply changes. It's going to re-import that data, this time filtering on the country column and just picking the USA values. So that's a pretty slick way to be able to um, filter the way that you pull in your data to Power BI Desktop. And then your reports, for example, like this one, would be um, based only on that country that is in that table. One other thing I wanted to point out is you can save this Power BI Desktop file as a template. Now when you save it as a template file, when the user opens this temp this template, it's actually not going to contain the data in it, but it'll prompt the user for what data they want, and then as soon as they open it, it'll contain that data. So that's another way to be able to, let's say you pass this file to somebody else, uh, it's got a common set of reports, uh, relationships amongst the tables, and then when the user opens up this file, it's going to prompt them for the parameter of the data that they want imported. So that's a simple uh, illustration on how you can use parameters in Power BI Desktop. Thanks for watching.